I was aiming at you. And, and it shattered, you know, it really just, really just shattered. Glass all over the place. Mm, mm. How's that? How's mm. that feel, huh? It's painful. It's painful? I have a bad back. Well, why'd you say so? I kept hoping it would feel good. Oh, Harry. She's never done anything like that before. Yeah. What's wrong, Mrs. Bender? I don't know. All I know about is finding people jobs. Oh, did you find anything? No. Yet? I'm having some new resumes made up. And this time, I write up myself. You know what I'm considering? Having an affair. You know what you have the habit of doing, Marvin? You have the habit of assuming what you want, everybody wants. Yeah, but everybody wants the same thing. I mean, like, I wish I didn't have to go home tonight. I wish I could just get on a boat and go somewhere. You, you know I even started carrying around my passport? What's your wife's picture doing here? That's a Mr. and Mrs. But you can use it by yourself. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take off and go to Europe on the spur of the moment, and uh, I'll just, I'll buy whatever I need when I get over there. You're never going to do a thing like that. I am so going to do a thing like that, a a as soon as I can think of, of a reason my wife will accept for, for leaving her. Without her being upset or at all angry. Well, of course. Well, that's not impossible. I bet you didn't believe that, uh, that I'd buy a famous painting, painting and, and donate it to a museum. Is that why you had me meet you here? That's what I'm trying to do, you know, with all that zipper money. Get kicks like seeing something I own on a, on a museum wall. It's pretty good. Uh, is this the entire collection? Sure. That, that thing costs $4,000. Now, how, how many do you think I'd buy? Oh. You know, seeing a painting with my name on it, and the Museum of Modern Art, leaves me absolutely cold. Boo. Oh, hi. Hi, Lois. I oh, came uh, down to see our painting. How are you, Mary? Hi. Were you surprised that my husband donated a painting? Yes, I was. I certainly was. Aren't you and my husband going to be late for your poker game? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we forgot. We really ought to get going. Uh, can you be late for your poker game? We could, we could all have dinner together. Well, it wouldn't, wouldn't be fair. I don't, I don't think it would be fair to the other guys. <clears throat> Harry, I was sorry to hear your news. Which news is that? About your being fired. We, we, we ought to get going. Don't, don't wait up there, Lord. Oh, I'll wait up. What else do I have to do? I wait up even when you're there. Lois, I, I don't understand what that means. You're not a woman. we better get going. Harry. Marvin and I are exactly the same age. I know, and she's getting worse all the time. That, that's why I'm afraid she, she'd really do something if I left without the perfect excuse. There is no perfect excuse for leaving your wife. David, please don't do this. Will you please come? Aren't you even gonna write him a note? You saw me try. I don't know what to put in it. It all comes out like daytime television. Well, well, then talk to him. All right, if you'll come with me now, the next week I'll have dinner with Daddy and we'll talk everything out. And then after that, the three of us will talk everything out, okay? But right now, I've got to get away. All right, I'll write a note. Will you take your bag down, please?
woman. I'm thinking of having an affair. And you're feeling guilty. You stop thinking that everyone is like you. I'm not guilty. The fact remains that I have this sense of morality. Against having affairs? I, I read in a magazine this week that uh, there's a movement in religion where they say uh, affairs are OK. No, no, I read that. You went over it too fast. It just said that people are talking about their affairs with this minister, not that it's OK. Anyway, I have nothing against affairs. It's just that I can't tell someone I don't love that I love them. Well, then don't. I love you, Harry. Yes, darling, it's true. I love you. Bet you were really surprised when they called. Not a bit. Because I knew it was there between us. I knew that one night I'd be saying, I love you, Harry. And you'd be saying, I'm terribly uncomfortable. Oh. You're sick. Are you shy? Is that it? It's shyness, isn't it? Harry? Do you want to know something? I've never told another human being. Oh, no. Harry, listen. No, Anne, please. Sometimes people rush intimacy along a little too fast. That they tell each oh, other things. Oh, no, no, thing. I want to tell you. I, I must tell you. I'm going to. Okay. Harry? I am shy. Surprised? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I am shy. But it helps to say, I love you. To say it. I love you. It's good to say, I love you. I love you. Oh, it's good to say, I <coughs> I'd like you to get out of here. I don't think he saw it. No, I guess he didn't. Then everything's okay? Sure it is. He slept through our whole separation. Just what you needed to make your life terrific. An affair. I need something. You need a job. I need to think that life is better than this. Another woman, is that what you need? All right, let's not talk about it, all right? Oh, Harry, everything's gonna be so different for the two of you when you start working again. You know something funny? I don't think they will be. I'll tell you something else. I don't think I'll ever be working again, either. That's how much you know. I'm just so close to something. What? Vice president in charge of sales at a pharmaceutical house. I don't have the background for anything like that. On your resume, you do. I had them convinced they were lucky to get you. And then the worms checked. You probably had me up to Ph.D., didn't you? I probably could have gotten by with that one if I hadn't made you 26. Well, Mrs. Bender, it's really cheered me up dropping in like this. Let me know if you ever find me a job. Right now, I have to go and meet my friend Marvin and be brought up to date on how much money he has. So, if you'll excuse me... Harry? 